Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In recent video, Abigail Herringer, a pioneering deaf contestant from the Bachelor franchise, shares the things you should avoid saying to a deaf person. Abigail made history in 2021 as the first deaf contestant on The Bachelor, appearing on season 25 with Matt James. While she didn't find love with Matt, she discovered a connection with Noah Erb during season 7 of Bachelor in Paradise. Despite a brief breakup before the season concluded, they reunited after filming. The couple is presently connected with and revamping a home they share in Oklahoma. Three years after Abigail Herringer's advanced appearance on the ABC dating show, another hard-of-hearing candidate is on season 28. Daisy Kent has previously framed an association with Joey Grazia D. Like Abigail, Daisy wears a cochlear embed, which furnishes her with some consultation. Since her beginning in the Lone Ranger Country establishment, Abigail Herringer has been determined to bring issues to light about deafness and cochlear inserts. The social media influencer uses her voice to communicate because she does not speak sign language. Sadly, web savages at times leave inconsiderate remarks about Abigail's voice. She likewise gets remarks commending her for having the option to talk well for a hard-of-hearing individual. In another episode of her Instagram series, Listen to Me, Abigail tends to why that is really annoying and offers more things not to share with a hard-of-hearing individual. This one is precarious in light of the fact that I realize a great many people mean well when they express this to me, yet to praise my advancement with my language training, simply say that I talk all around well, she said about the underhanded commendation. The Truth Star recommended that individuals forget about for a hard-of-hearing individual while commending a hard-of-hearing individual's talking voice, telling a hard-of-hearing individual, goodness, you don't look hard-of-hearing is another no. Abigail said, this one befuddles me since what is a hard-of-hearing individual expected to seem to be? Another tactless act is saying sorry in the wake of figuring out somebody is hard-of-hearing. She explained, it kind of conveys that you feel sorry for us, and a lot of us don't see our disability as a bad thing. At last, Abigail Herringer can't stand when individuals deny her openness by saying they can't stand captions. Abigail Herringer is a motivation for both hard of hearing and hearing individuals. She was praised by those who commented on her Instagram video about what not to say to deaf people. Additionally, additional advice from her followers flooded the comment section. The comments that you don't look deaf always catch me off guard, as do the ones that tell me to quiet down or stop being so loud. All of this, my teens also despise it when someone replies, never mind, when they ask for a repeat. It's not significant. That is detaching. What's more, harsh. The one I disdain the most, it doesn't matter. I feel so secluded when individuals don't rehash the things they said and simply say it doesn't matter. Only thing else that irritates me is the point at which I'm attempting to comprehend something that an individual shared with me and they say simply failed to remember it as opposed to rehashing it plainly. As you can see from the remarks, one normal issue is telling a hard-of-hearing individual, don't bother, rather than rehashing the same thing.